While conducting PSD operations, protecting high-level diplomats, what I found was you cannot be so overt with how you carry your equipment. You have to lower your signature and lower your posture. I realized during these type of operations that we needed a very slim down, low vis type of belt that still has the capability to conduct direct action operations or reconnaissance work attaching radios and equipment that you need operationally. This thought process also will work with civilians when you are carrying uh, equipment around or you're carrying force protection equipment by still keeping that same low profile. So during this process, I realized that we need to integrate some kind of tactical belt into a, a regular commercial belt, a dress belt, a cargo belt, whatever belt that you decide to carry that still keeps that same low profile. The Ronin gun sleeve is very minimalistic and has different pile panels that allow you to run any commercial belt through it, the sleeve. Panels come in sections of two piles. You can adjust your gun sleeve length and size based on our size. We have extra small all the way up to extra large panels. If, so if you want to run these panels through your whole belt, then you will go with extra large panel. And then the extra large panel will give you molly all the way around your regular belt. So running and feeding the belt through the gun sleeve. Gun sleeve has reinforced stiffeners to make this sleeve very rigid. As you can see, as I route my commercial belt through, it runs into each one of these panels. And all you do is just feed it through the rigid panel. Running through the original panel. So as you can see, I ran my gun sleeve through the, my commercial belt. You can use a dress belt, you can use a cargo belt, you can use any belt that you need to use. This is a one and a half inch belt. So this one and a half inch belt, as you can see, it fits into our gun sleeve. Now you can see when I routed my gun sleeve through my commercial belt, it has hook on the inside. This hook work in conjunction with the Rue inner belt, the one and a half inch Ronin inner belt. Once you bind the belt itself with the, with the Rue inner belt, the gun belt will never move or shift on the shooter. Giving it the same stability as any one of our tactical Ronin gun belts. So the Ronin gun sleeve comes in extra small panels, which has three different panels. It comes in a small panel, it comes in medium, it comes in large or extra large panels. So let's say if you want to run the whole dimension of the outer belt, and, and you can take a inner belt, a different dimension and run it, where the whole, now the whole gun belt has a piles low bearing outer. So now I line my commercial belt with the, with the gun sleeve. This right here with the inner belt, this will combine and lock into the inner belt. So as you can see, I could pick different dimensions uh, and different sizes on the gun sleeve and I can line the whole commercial belt with the piles low bearing outer attachment. This commercial outer belt now is a tactical low bearing belt, very much like the Shootle belt, Task Force belt, or Sanji belt. I was able to take a commercial belt and transform it into a low-bearing outer belt. With the gun sleeve attached to a commercial belt, now I transform this belt into a tactical gun belt. With a tactical gun belt and the mollies and piles, I can attach different attachments of molly to my gun sleeve.
This is a G-Co magazine holder. It can attach onto our Ronin gun sleeves. Our Molly attachments can attach onto our Ronin gun sleeves. So this commercial belt now becomes a tactical low bearing, low vis belt. So let's talk about how to wear this belt, conduct a low vis type of operations. You want to utilize the panels that will only cover the backside of your belt. And the reason for this is when you're wearing a jacket when we're conducting PSD work, you still want to expose that commercial type belt. So in order to do this, usually what I do is I route my, my one and a half inch inner belt inside of my, of my commercial type of pants. Then I take my regular uh, dress belt or work belt, commercial belt, and I run it through the front loop of my of my pants itself. So this is exposed here. That time, I take my gun sleeve attachment and I want to route my belt through the gun sleeve. So imagine when you're conducting like uh, security details and low vis operations, a lot of us hire our radios uh, in every crevice that we can find. But if I can have a gun sleeve and put my radio pouches, put my handcuffs, put my pistol, put my extra mags into a gun sleeve and still keep that same uh, slim low vis profile, well, this is why that gun sleeve was developed. So after you route through the first belt loop, then you're gonna route through the belt through the gun sleeve itself. Depending on how stiff your belt or not stiff your belt is, you're going to have to push it through to each one of these panels. So as I route it through the panel, then I route it through here. This is only when you're wearing a type of low vis type of um, setup. So once you route this through, usually what I like to do is I like to put this towards the back of um, my lower back because that's where my jacket's going to run. So once I, once I bind, once I bind my belt to the inner belt, as you can see, this thing does not work. My regular duty belt, my regular civilian belt. Just understand once this belt binds with the inner belt, it's almost impossible to move it. With, with the gun sleeve and everything attached, it will never move on the shooter at all. The Ronin gun sleeve will give you options to run it in a low vis manner for reconnaissance or PSD work, or it will give the commercial users the ability to use a commercial type of belt and still make it into a functional tactical gun belt.